Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so in this video, I am going to talk about outer join. Okay, so in the last video, I have discussed about inner join, right? So if you haven't watched that video, go and watch that video first, then come to this video. Okay, so we'll discuss the outer join in a proper way so that there is no confusion. This is a confusing topic, guys. In the join, my SQL. If you are learning as a software engineer, if you are developer, QA, as that anything, product manager, database knowledge is a must. Okay, so the join concept is a very much important concept over here. So if you are new to my channel, subscribe my channel. So let's start the video now. So outer join concept is very simple. As the name suggests, it is like joining the outer boundary area. Okay. So suppose there is a like uh, table. Okay. So let me draw some two tables over here. Okay. So this is table one. So this is table two. Okay. So this is having some. Uh, this is having some names. Uh, let's take a uh, simple, like a proper table. Okay. So let us uh, consider that this table's name is like uh, employee. Okay. And this table name is company. So different employees working different companies, right? Okay. So this is the uh, ID. Just a like example, company ID. Okay. So here, and the another row is company name. Okay. So this is the table where we contain some data and here in this table there is uh, employee id okay employee id and in this uh, column the name is like uh, employee name okay okay so these are the two tables so now in order to understand the outer join right so there is different types of outer join okay left join right join this left outer join is also known as left join right outer join is known as right join okay simple so this is pretty simple so for example employee id is like uh, emp01 emp02 employee name is XYZ employee name is PQR company ID is company uh, 01 and company 02 okay and the name is uh, ABC and MNO okay just for example and this is the primary key okay so you must uh, know that in order to join the table there needs to be a uh, unique column okay unique column okay so let's just name it as employee id itself so that we can join the table because if there is no common uh, column we can't join the table okay so this is the thing actually okay so we are learning outer join right first of all let's see uh, left join okay so it will consider the uh, common common thing from the left side okay so this is the it will so for example there is uh, Okay, so employee zero one is there, right? Employee zero one common thing is there. Employee zero one, employee zero one, A B C. So in the final table, right? So this is, for example, uh, final table. We are uh, we want to get the output as employee ID, employee name, 
and company name okay so you want to get the output like this okay so you will check it will check all the left side information should be there so employee id it will check it is there or not yes yes it is there so it will write it over here employee id employee 0 and employee name is xyz and company name is abc and employee 2 is there or not yes it is there so it will it will include it okay pqr and the thing is company name is mno okay so this is the final table all the left side thing left side entries it will match with the right side table this is the left join so what if there is a uh, employee 3 okay employee 3 employee 03 it is like l m r something like that okay so there is a record it did not match over here okay so what what will happen in that scenario okay so it will be like null okay so if it is not matching over here it will be null okay so this is the left join concept now let's talk about the right join concept okay So same. So let us take the same same tables. Okay, same same. So let us not change anything. Okay. So now let's talk about the right join. So there is two table. That is. Uh, one table contains employee id employee name and another table contains employee id and company name so you want to get the uh, records in a combined way you want to join the two tables and get the information okay so here we are doing right join right so the right side table is like this one employee id and uh, company name so basically this so all the records in this tables will be fetch okay So employee one, it will check. Yes, it is there. So it will uh, fetch this one. Employee one, uh, employee name is A B C, and company name is Flipkart. Okay. And the second one is employee two, this Ola. So employee name is this one. It's there, right? So it will uh, fetch it. Employee zero two. Uh, name is def and company is ola and the third one is employee 05 so here it's no employee 05 but it will fetch the fetch the employee 05 okay and it will give the name as ijk and the company name is dukan okay and the last one is employee 03 it is there yes so it will just write the name over here employee 03 what is the name uh ijk and it is name is mintra okay so my bad employee 5 employee name will be null why because uh, name is not there employee 5 is not there and name is not there so employee 5 name will be null so so this is the final right join uh, table okay so basically the concept of right join table is everything from the right side table will be there if it is not there in the left side table it will be null so this is all about the concept of right join table 
now let's talk about the outer join i will use the same table full outer join okay so there is left outer join right outer join and full outer join so in full outer join what will happen every record will be listed okay so employee 1 is there right so it will fetch employee 2 is there it will fetch employee 3 is there employee 4 is there employee 5 is there everything will be fetch okay so uh everything will be fetched and uh, for the uncommon one that is employee 3 employee 4 uh, is not there in employee uh, so the employee name will be null so this is outer join so i hope that uh, this video is uh, help you to clear all your queries and doubt regarding mysql joins different types of joins right so if you have any types of queries uh, other than this feel free to uh, comment down below in the so that i can pick up the request and make a video out of it i have also made some very important videos in regarding mysql in this mysql playlist go and check this out you will definitely find the help out of it okay so if you have liked this video subscribe me to channel uh, this has motivates me to create much more interesting content around uh, programming and uh, software related things okay so i'll see you in the next video bye